In this video, we have a fair six-sided die, and it's got a faces label one, two, three, four, five, six, so just an ordinary die. Um, the score on the die when it is rolled once is denoted X. Find E of X and VAR of X. So because we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, we can go straight to using these formulae. Because remember, this is defined for the probability of x being equal to r, when, and that's equal to 1 over n, when r is equal to 1, 2, etc., all the way up to n and 0 otherwise. So because our values are going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that means that n is 6, of course, the probability is 1 sixth, as you would expect. So e of x is going to be 6 plus 1 over 2, so 7 over 2, so 3.5. And you would expect that because if your distribution looks like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the probability is the same because it's a uniform distribution, Okay, what's the expected value? Now remember the E of X is like your long-term average. So you keep on rolling the die over and over and over and over again. What would you expect the average of all those scores to be? It's the average of one, two, three, four, five, six. It's halfway there between three and four. So it'd be 3.5. Okay, so it's like you're adding up all the scores and dividing by how many times you've done it. How many times you've rolled the die. Now, var of x, same, very easy now because we know that n is 6, so we just plug it in there. So 6 squared, take away 1, over 12. 36, take away 1 is 35, so it's 35 twelfths. Okay, so when um, you've just got a situation where it's labelled from 1 all the way up to n, uh, it's very easy to just plug the value of n straight into the formulae. 